This is a little awkward. Today I'm doing the unthinkable. I never thought I'd get Tinder. I guess nobody ever thinks they're gonna get Tinder until they get Tinder. I've been pretty proud of the fact that I've never had Tinder. Like, I don't know if that's an accomplishment, but like I've kind of treated it as like an accomplishment. It's probably not, but your boy's now single. I feel like when you're 18, it's like, you have Tinder? Like are, like, are you like that kind of human being? But then you get a little bit older and you're like, we're all kind of that kind of human being. I don't really know why I'm getting Tinder. I assure you, it's not, it's not completely, completely rebound related. I feel like it's just that thing that everybody around you has done that you haven't done yet. And so you're like, I wanna be a part of this club that like I'm not really a part of, even though it's not even that great of a club and it's kind of pointless and like it's kind of purposeless and most people are kind of sad about it. But you're like, I wanna know what like your sadness feels like, you know? God, it sounds like I'm talking about losing your virginity. I do feel very judged by the way. I asked a friend how they felt about it. Let me just read you this text. She said, mildly up, you're a Tinder virgin. That's rare nowadays. You want to preserve your innocence. You're untouched by the horrors of Tinder. That's special. You're like that rare Pokemon card. The times I got Tinder for myself, it was to use the men on there. I don't know if I regret it because I'm definitely not losing sleep over it, but I don't know if I would ever bother with it again. I'm feeling a little judged. I've also been asking people around the bar how they feel about Tinder, and it's kind of all more or less the same, but all more or less different, if that makes sense. Henry likes to act like no girls talk to him, but then I always cut to him. In 4K, once again, <laughs> acting like nobody talks to you. Look at you, that's like the 25th time tonight. I'm talking about business, what? crypto. <laughs> I was gonna ask you how I feel about dinner, but you said you got banned from dinner. I was looking for a sugar daddy for a so then that's like, okay, report. Okay, have you ever had Tinder? Yeah, I did. It's like hit or miss. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you don't. Bumble, I got banned from Bumble because I didn't I talk to anyone. Banned on everything but Bumble. What are the do's and don'ts? Another red flag is like all their pictures is just like group photos, them behind their face. No, I feel like you're speaking from experience. One time I got punched out by a girl because I called her a walking red flag. Like this French Latina, she was crazy. I'm getting a Tinder for the first time. You're gonna be my wing girl. The best do's and don'ts. Shirtless pictures, bad. Why do you hate the fish? I feel like the fish, is, you're like adventurous or athletic. You like nature. You don't like nature. You feel like a fish. What's like an immediate no? I know we're in Alberta, but Trump. Rock? You don't like a guy with a reliable mode of transportation? Yeah. Does the bio matter? I don't read the bio. Yeah, I read the bio. It's funny. It's good. Incident deal breaker? It adds. It adds. Would you say Tinder's like overall good experience? Like try it one time. She okay. hasn't tried it. I think it's an experience because it's fun to swipe. So you, you've there. had it though. Oh yeah. You seem embarrassed about it. I am embarrassed about it. How rough is Tinder as a guy? That's his question. I mean, it can be. Like I pay for a premium just so I don't have to worry about the experience. That's a chance. Did you ever go for like the news, like 500 bucks a month kind of thing? Yeah, what? There's I don't know like that's worth it. Oh, we're asking people about Tinder. The hoes get a whole year. The guys that don't get put. You don't get put. I'm gonna get it, which don't is why. It. No, don't get it. What? You, you gotta think. Hoflation. I want you to test it out. Make a fake girl account. For the walla. Telling people to be in, a in 24 <laughs> hours, you're gonna get a thousand swipes. Okay. How many of the same messages you're getting? Hey, hi. How are you? You're beautiful. Sure. You need to do the opposite. Would you just become a girl and you just say? Oh, you, you gotta be a Chad. You gotta be a Tyrone. It's not gonna work. It's just how it is. How many actually respond back? I see the regular hoe. Like, you. I've seen you on Tinder. <laughs> I see you on Plenty of Whales. Delete Tinder. My man's I, on here. I, I got banned. I'm banned on all Tinder. Delete the app. Try it out for a month. I'm telling you, it's gonna suck the soul out of you. It's gonna fuck your self-esteem up. As soon as you're at your lowest, they upsell you on the premium. Oh, it seems like you're getting fat bitch after fat bitch. Next thing you know, they get you. Like, for $85, you get this hottie. Plus, like, you could be talking to Kim just as a girl no, doing market research. Guy. Look, the higher chance of walking up to a girl right now and getting her number and smashing uh, than swiping a hundred okay. times. This not true because he hasn't tried it. <laughs> Let's see what Google says. Is Tinder a good idea? WikiHow says Tinder may be a good ideal for casual hookups, but finding a long-term commitment may be more trouble than it's worth. Michaela Witt from Cora says there seems to be a lot of negativity surrounding Tinder, but I think, as with many things in life, it's all about how you approach it. If you're trying to take it seriously, you'll be drawn to other people who are trying to take it seriously. Jamie Parsons, a bad idea, period. <laughs> I'm gonna get it because, listen, I, we're not gonna talk about it. Welcome to Tinder. Please follow these house rules. Be yourself. Stay safe. 
date safe. Play it cool. Respect others. What's your first name? Oh my god, this is so personal. You gotta enter your birthday. Your distance. Should I just go crazy? I don't know what a good distance is. Let's go to 161 kilometers. That's a little far. What, what can you go down to? Two kilometers, bitch? Who the fuck are you gonna find in two kilometers? What are you looking for? Long-term partner. Long-term open to short-term. Short-term open to long-term. Short-term fun. New friends and still figuring it out. I had a friend tell me that Tinder's not a horrible way to meet friends. Nah, that's stupid. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. We're gonna put still figuring it out. Okay, let's talk lifestyle. This is so much deeper than I thought. How often do you drink? Sober? Sober curious? What the fuck does sober curious mean on special occasions? Socially on weekends, most nights. I'm gonna say on special occasions. How often do you smoke? Don't smoke. Smoker when drinking. You can just say you're a smoker. Like, it's okay. Oh, uh, I smoke, but like, only when I'm also using other substances I'm addicted to, like dog, cat, reptile, amphibian, bird, fish, don't have but love other turtle hamster rabbit pet free all the pets want a pet um i am pet free how do you receive love this is like that meme where it's like what's your love language it's like biting oh no what's your education level bachelor's in college high school <laughs> phd no i don't want to answer that uh, high school. I wonder if I can just like not select one of these. Oh, I can actually just not choose the education level. Maybe that's something I need to get over, but I feel like if I just put like high school, people are gonna think I'm like dumb, dumb. I'm just a little dumb. What is your zodiac sign? Aries. I got Tinder. I need help on the bio. What do I put for the bio? I like photography. What the fuck? That seems so like. I don't know. Simple. I'm not even kidding. Should I just put photographer instead of I like photography? Yeah. You don't have to put anything like at all. So it's not important. Yeah. But I feel like I should have more than one word. All right, I think that's where we're cutting off this video. I know it's like a little short, but I kind of want to gather my thoughts about Tinder in the past two weeks. I just want to take the time though to say thank you to everybody who watched the last video. 1.2K is pretty crazy for me. Everybody who watched the video, everybody who commented, people that messaged me, you know, like that kind of stuff just means, it means a ton. I am actually focusing a lot on YouTube. I've always kind of been like, oh, I'm gonna start making videos. Now I'm actually starting to make videos. I'm just not making a lot of them. Right now, I'm really working on making them better. And once I get better, I'm gonna focus on the quantity. I also want them to be authentic. I can't just force that out. I'm gonna try to keep putting out content bi-weekly basis. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'll let y'all know how Tinder went. <laughs>